recent years have seen bike technology elevated to a whole new level. Incremental improvements to aerodynamics, frame weight and stiffness make today's pro bikes a far cry from those of recent decades. Yet when it comes to 100-year-old races run on harsh terrain, the elements remain the same and the cobbles are just as unforgiving. Top teams often run modified bikes and equipment for the cobbles, fatter tyres, double bar tape and in some cases different frames. Lampre Merida's classic specialist Pipo Pozzato has spent a career smashing over the stones of Flanders and Roubaix and over the years he's witnessed these changes in bike tech firsthand, so he knows a thing or two about the benefits of today's machines. I've been a pro rider for 16 years and I've been lucky enough to try a lot of different bikes and materials. Without doubt the one I prefer the most is carbon fibre, the latest material and the one which the whole peloton is using. It's clear that over the years the technology is advancing all the time. We're getting better and better materials put together in ever more advanced ways. The Lampre riders have a choice of frames for the cobbles, the Reacto and the Ride. The Reacto is one of the most advanced aerodynamics due to drop-shaped tubes, an outstanding stiffness in the bottom bracket and head tube area and an over-average comfort for its S-Flex seat post. The unique combination of different characteristics makes the Reacto the first choice of the Lampre Merida team. The ride is designed for rough roads and challenging cobblestones. The special rear triangle construction, shock-absorbing biofibers and a comfort-orientated fork design offer the confidence to handle the world's hardest tracks. Furthermore, there's enough clearance for 28mm tyres to increase damping and comfort additionally. As much as these features help the rider saving energy during his effort, they also lower the risk of defects and crashes. Having such choice is a luxury that's appreciated by neo-pro Luka Pibanik, the Slovenian making his first appearances in cycling's top races this year. Last year I ride 160, 170 kilometers. In this year, 200, 260, like this. Yeah, it's a big difference and uh, yeah, you must, you must feel, feel good in a bike. Uh, you don't feel pain in the back, so... Uh, yeah, it's really important because the cobbles are pumpy, so, so we used uh, the new model of Merida bikes. It's uh, very good in uh, cobbles, so comfortable, uh, and we can push in the limit. So. With his wealth of experience, veteran Pozzato has been handing 21-year-old Pibanic the lessons he learned from the greats before him. I was lucky enough to ride with Franco Ballerini, and the first race I did here in Belgium was the Ghent Vevelgem, either in 2000 or 2001, I can't remember precisely. And what he taught me was to place my hands on the handlebars without ever holding them really tight. What I've said also to Luca is that you have to take on the cobbles in a soft way, otherwise your hands begin to hurt. First it's your fingers, then the hands, and finally your arms, and that becomes a problem Problem, because after six or seven hours you can't compete with aching arms. You're not able to guide the bike properly with tired arms. You have to let her go. Try and pedal and let the bike roll. The secret to taking on the cobbles is that you have to caress them, so to speak. To cycle on them, to dodge them, without letting them dictate to you. And the other tip? Well, that one's easier said than done. You must ride in the front, <laughs> but it's so difficult because every 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 rider wants to be in the front. So you must uh, push, must uh, everything you can. So uh, yeah, it's it's a better position and all day. So yeah, it's hard, hard. Pibanik managed to help his team leader and finish Flanders, his first ever start in a monument, while Pozzato battled back from a puncture to finish 12th. The new frame, the ride, will be used on Sunday when Lampre Merida turn their attentions to the harsher cobbles of Paris-Roubaix. In my opinion, these are the most beautiful races to compete in because of their history and the attraction they hold and their appeal to all the fans. 
they are really unique races that stay with you. To race in them, to race on the roads where all the great champions of this sport have left their mark, is something exceptional.